Hey guys, this is Kyle with Attack of the Fanboy. I'm here with Joe with Motiga, and we're in the gigantic theater at PAX East 2015. How are you doing, Joe? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So you are the lead character artist on this game. Why don't you talk a little bit about the game and then also the characters, which are a pretty big part of the game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Gigantic is a team-based action game. It's five on five. It's all PvP. There's no single player or anything. Um, the battle is for, you're, you're fighting these big guardian creatures. Uh, that's the, both your friend and your enemy. Killing him actually, or killing the enemy's guardian is what wins the game. Um, it is character driven, so a lot of our job is to make really charming, really uh, compelling characters for something for everybody. So, so the the way the game was kind of described to me was like first person shooter mixed with with MOBA. Would you would you agree with that? Would you modify that a little bit? Sure, mixed with RPGs, mixed with brawlers. It's I think the thing throwing you know, everything is that we're not. It's not trying to be any of the things that we're talking about, right? It's borrowing some interesting features that we think are, are great elements to kind of mix together um, to make our own thing. It's not quite any of those things. Cool. Um, how many characters are in the game at, the, at this time? Right now, I believe there are 16 in this build. Um, internally, we're twest testing something like 24. I'm not entirely sure which ones will, will make it to release. Something like 20 of them will. Okay. Do you want to talk about maybe some of your, your favorite characters, some of the, the more unique characters in, in Gigantic? Yeah, um, I, I love, actually I like, I like a lot of different things. I, for me, since I'm an artist, there's some that I just really, really, really love the look of, and there are some that I just really love to play. So um, I love playing the bull, uh, Lord Gnosis. Uh, I, I played him at Pack South. I was yeah. the bull. What'd you think? He was he was good. I told them I wanted to get in and just mess people up, and they were like, "All right, that guy." That's for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, that's. I think there's there's the cool thing about the game is that you really get a chance to pick the playstyle for the mood that you're that you have at the moment, right? If I want to be real aggressive, I pick a I pick the bull. I get in. Um, if I want to be sneaky, I pick the assassin character. I pick Trip. I pick Taito. Things that'll basically harass people enough that they're annoyed a little bit. Um, it's all about the way that I want to play that day. So Yeah, the, the big thing at both both times that I've played Gigantic, it was always the first step was picking your character. Yep. And we, you know, you guys had community coaches there and they're like, yep. what's your play style? What yep. do you feel like playing today? Because that is a big part of it. Uh, so you can mix it up. Like I was the bull and then this time I was like, no, I want to want to shoot stuff. Yep. Um, so that's Would really, I was uh, that guy. Which I don't know his name. That's uh, HK two hundred six. HK two hundred six is that Jeez. is that a uh, reference to Knights of the Old Republic? HK. I can neither confirm nor deny that, nor that two hundred six may or may not be the Seattle area code. <laughs> is that is that where Motiga is? Is Seattle? Possibly. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> um, so, what about the the guardians? They're kind of the the focus of Gigantic, other than your character are the guardians. Are there different guardians in the game? I've seen the two. There's the owl yeah. and the dragon. Those are there are, other ones? Right now, there's the griffin and and the the naga. And those two, those are the two we have in the game right now. Um, we're planning to have m more than that. Well, that will be selectable. Um, they will not actually. Right now, those are the only two we've we've built out. So. Okay. Yep. Um, when are you guys looking to release? Um, or yeah, I think you're in alpha right now. We're in alpha, and our plan is is uh, this fall on both uh, Windows 10 and Xbox One. Yeah, that was a pretty big announcement that yeah. that Gigantic would become an Xbox One. Are you guys pretty excited about that? I mean, I'm stoked. I, I actually I think it's it's pretty awesome to be able to say be able to crossplay, but not necessarily have to. Right. That was also, I, I don't know if I saw it, it is cross-play. You can, people on Windows 10 can play against people on Xbox One. Yeah. It's opt-in though. So if if you, for me, it's super exciting because I, I mean, I play with my little, I play games with my brother, but I always end up buying two copies. I like playing on PC. He likes playing on Xbox. So I buy the X, Xbox version just to play with him. But now I guess the option, the option there is that I can get him to play my game, the game we've been working so hard on. And get them to say like, okay, I'll play with you today. It's it's good. It's just, it's just optional 
and I get to play like up to go where I want, I guess. Yeah. So is would that be optional in terms of like when you're searching for a game online, you would say, you yeah. Yeah, you ch you'd choose that I'd like to play between platforms. Awesome. Um, yeah, so uh, how many maps are in the game? That's that's a, I know that's not really your area, but, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> no, but I play the maps day, are, are yeah. a pretty big part uh, just because of the way that the pathing works and everything yeah. like that. So how many are we looking at and, and how many do you have currently? So right now uh, we've, we've shown the Miss Forge, which is the much larger... Um, the Miss Forge is the, the more gray, blue, green. Um, it's a temple. Um, and that one, much bigger, more strategic uh, spatial play. Um, this one, the canyon, is actually much more straight up the middle. You're always in a fight. Um, and so our plan is to have a third map for launch, but that we would release more as we go. Um, and that's, I think that's probably our minimum, is that we'd have launch with three. Um, but and, and I think Gigantic is... Correct me if I'm wrong, launching as a free-to-play game? It's a free-to-play game, yes. So uh, later on you would add more heroes, maybe more maps? What, what, what would you add on the, the after that? The, it's not yet. Yeah, I mean, that stuff isn't nailed down. Um, you can assume that we'll do some similar things to what other people do, um, but none of that's really locked down yet. So. Gotcha. Um, anything else that you maybe want to bring up about Gigantic? Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I think the, the, the one thing that I will say that really excites me about what we're doing is that, um, you know, like I was talking about earlier, getting to pick how I want to play for the day um, and getting to engage on a very different level with what the, the game feels like when I play it um, is, to me, it's one of the strongest things that, that comes through when I play. Um, I, I'm assuming you got a little taste of that with yeah, playing the yeah, two I characters. Got, right? I played, uh, I think I played two games at South, so I got to try, but I switched between the brawlers, so I was the, uh, the guy with the spear. I'm the terrible market. with the names. The it's also packs, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. yeah. So I switched between the two brawlers, and then this time I was that guy, and yep. he was he was polar, you know, totally different style. So yep. that was really cool. And um, also the uh, something else to talk about are the special abilities. Do you want to talk a little bit about the character uh, special abilities? The, uh, when you say that, what do you like um, the F ability and the oh, Q the ability? Yeah. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so the, yeah, uh, each character, th they all have kind of their signature move. Um, the focus ability, and, and those are actually uh, built up kind of similar to a, a Street Fighter Ultra where you, you deal damage and you take damage and you increase your meter and once you get a charge you can, for some kind, like the Charnock, the, the, the fire breathing mage, um, the dragon mage, he, uh, he summons these enormous like flame columns that as the, the focus meter gets higher you get two charges, it's more powerful, does more damage, maybe there's more strikes. Um, and then eventually it'll do some immobilization. So they're kind of like the, the game changer. Like It changes the fight. Okay. You, you blast that on any character and it should either win you the fight or seriously affect it. Um, they're very, very different. So the Vidasi, the healer, actually, for, the, for some amount of time, depending on the number of charges, will go completely invulnerable. She can still attack, but she's invulnerable. So it, really, it's the... It's the the character defining moment for each of them is kind of the idea. Very yeah. cool. Um, so yeah, anything else for Gigantic? I, I, that's about it. So <laughs> when when was it launching again? Uh, fall 2015. Fall 2015 on Windows 10 and, and Xbox One. Xbox One. Yep. Awesome. Thank you very much, yeah, Joe.